Hey guys, what's up? Kage Incorporated here from Machinima bringing you an exploit on how to get infinite human effigies in Forest of the Fallen Giants. Now, you want to come to the very first bonfire over here and use a bonfire aesthetic. After doing this, you want to sprint to the left from the first area you came through and make sure you go through the tunnel and skip all the enemies. Uh, you can see my blood stain right here because I actually fell before and you want to be careful here, alright? So I'm actually going to show y'all not just only this human effigy glitch, um, but I will show you an exploit on how to get infinite ferals, lock stones, titanite shards, torches, and poison moss. So, as you can see, I'm using my feather and returning to the bonfire, rinse and repeating the process. Around the three minute mark of this video, you will see me demonstrating a way on how to get the infinite titanite shards, feral lock stones, torches, and poison moss. So, like I said, you want to rinse and repeat this process at the bonfire. Use a bonfire aesthetic. You will keep getting times five human effigies. Not only that, but if you jump across here from this platform that I am at right now, you can actually get Homeward Bones and Soul of the Lost Undead. But you can only get one of those. But it's still pretty good. So use your feather, return, and we're going to do this one more time. As you can see, I'm skipping ahead through here, but we're going through the same areas. So try to come on this bridge, drop down, go to the chest, open it up, pick up your five human effigies again. So now we have 15, just off of using three bonfire aesthetics. Jump across here, hopefully you don't fall, pick up another homeward bone and soul of the lost and dead. Now we're going to return back to the bonfire, but fast travel to Majula. So here we go. We're going to Majula, the only bonfire here. We're going to burn a bonfire aesthetic immediately if you have discovered everything within this area, getting all chests and everything else down the well, whatever. If you use a bonfire aesthetic, it, you will want to come to the mansion ahead. We're already at the door. Go straight in to the right and pick up the Feral's Lockstone around the corner. This will give you one Feral's Lockstone. Then what you want to do is go back towards the entrance, turn left as I'm doing here, turn another left, go forward, make another left, go up the stairs to the left and make another left into a door open up this chest here and you will see that I will have three torches and three titanite shards so every time you use a bonfire aesthetic you will not only get a feral's lockstone but you will get three torches three titanite shards a radiant life gem once you equip the cat ring and jump down the hole in the uh, ground and just keep going down. Now I will pick up another Pharaoh's Lockstone. So this will give us two Pharaoh's Lockstones, three Titanite Shards, three Torches, a Radiant Life Gem. And we're going to keep coming down here. And right here we're going to pick up three Poison Moss. So I appreciate y'all for watching this video. Please like it. Subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Comment if you have any questions. And peace out.